everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is Lucy welcome and today I look a bit weird don't know what's going on with me um so I promised I would get round to doing um well filming my whole entire makeup collection um and I have been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off so I decided I would try and do it in like two videos. Um, what I'm gonna do today is my liquid lipstick glosses um, collection. I'm gonna try and swatch them all on my arm for you. Um, I do have a few like bullet lipsticks, but um, they're not really worth talking about because um, I never use them and I literally keep them for like sentimental reasons. Some of them probably need to go in the bin. So I'm just gonna do my liquid lipsticks for now. So I'm gonna start off, I have this little sort of tray thing that I keep in with my um, makeup palettes and these are the lipsticks that I, and lip glosses that I don't tend to reach for every day. So first off, this is a glossy lip, so a lip gloss and this is from Colourpop. This is the My Little Pony Colourpop collection and this is in Dream Castle. Um, I've never, I don't, no, I've never used it so it's actually really pretty so there is that one next up is another lip gloss this is the um kylie jenner glitz this is the this and another one are the only kylie things that i've ever bought because customs charges are just way too much and to be honest um, I only bought this because uh, Jeffrey Star said it was cute. I'm waiting on the Alien palette to come, which is why I keep looking out the window. So there's Glitz. And then here is, this is Glamour. The, like I say, I've never tried any of her liquid lipsticks. I heard they're quite drying. Um, but like I say, I was a bit sort of underwhelmed by the lip glosses so they do have quite a cute sort of sweet smell to them there we go next up are my girls with attitude gwa liquid lipsticks these are good um but i don't really like the smell i have to say anyway this is in mermaid coral just do do that there yeah i don't know what the smell is but I, it just i don't really like it and it sort of lingers so then we have mermaid goddess which is like a neon pink i do like this color and then i have one more somewhere yep this is mermaid kiss this is like a nude. There we go. Um, just a disclaimer as well. I am not bragging. People have asked me to show you my makeup collection. I review products. That's what I do. If anything, you should feel sorry for me because I have a huge makeup hoarding problem and my bank balance hates me because of that just put that out there next up is um la splash or la splash as i've heard people calling it and this is in honeybee um this was part of my um beauty bay wish list and i literally bought it because it was called honeybee because i love honey and bumblebees and i just yeah there we go it's a bit of a darker brown um, I haven't actually tried this out yet, so that is why it's in my little um, for later thing. Then I have another LA Splash one in Runic. This is, um, it goes on purple, but when you smack your lips together, um, it goes like green. 
which I thought was quite funky. I hadn't seen sort of that sort of thing before. I have worn this in a couple of videos. Um, yeah. Then we have a Wet and Wild one, and this is in Berry Recognize. There's that one. Not really much to say on that. Um, I find it quite drying. I have another one, um, but I haven't actually opened it. Let's open it now. This is Death to Unicorns. This is part of the Wet and Wild, like, goth thing. And I'm not probably not going to be able to get it open because of my nails suck. But it's that one. Sorry about that, guys. Then we have um, CYO, uh, the metallic lipsticks liquid lipsticks that i got this one is in the shade misconduct i did review these on my channel and i was quite disappointed with them to be honest um they don't really dry down very well they're more like a gloss than a liquid lipstick and that smell is awful i might actually give these away this one is in the shade busted There we go. I'm gonna put those to the side um, and give them to my niece, I think. She will appreciate them. Next up is a pop feel one. Um, doesn't actually, oh, it's number six. I don't know, but these are cute. Um, I'm gonna put it there. I love the color, it's just there. As you can guess, I love the colour purple. Um, then we have a Barry M Matte Me Up one. And this is in the shade Avant Garde. Just do it at the bottom there. I need lots and lots of room. <laughs> and then we have a um, Lime Crime in Scandal. I find Lime Crime are quite drying. Um, I don't know if it's just me. It's in the bottom there, that's Scandal. I don't know if it's just me, um, but I find them quite drying. Lime Crime, however, if you do order off their website, they do pay the customs for you, So, or they, they take it there and then, so you're not sort of hit with them. Um, when they come into the country there's nothing more disappointing than buying something getting excited about it and then you get a thing through the post to say you need to pay extra right then i've got um this is the nyx powder puff lippy and i got it in the shade teenage dream um, this is the first ever product that I reviewed on my channel and I do love the colour. However, the consistency of it, I can't even get it out now. The consistency of it when um, it dries down, it dries down to like a powder and it's just really, really weird. There you go. Also, the applicator is a little bit fuzzy and not good then i have a lime chrome diamond crusher lip topper and this is in the color trip we'll just switch that there this is really really pretty um it doesn't look very good on camera there we go really really pretty on top of color and it smells like strawberries it's lovely i do like that very much okay next up let's take this one out okay so we have um some color pop ones to go through this is um jellies just a blue i didn't have a blue in my collection and i needed a blue so that's the blue one then we have dr m which is a green again 
I needed a green in my collection. It was lacking and yes. There we go. I do like ColourPop li liquid lipsticks. They are they are quite good. Um, then we have um, My Little Pony again and this is Pinwheel. This is again ColourPop. There it is there. Can you tell what my sort of colour preference is yet? Then we have one from Ciate London. This is the colour flip, um, glitter flip, sorry. You put it on, it dries, and then when you smack your lips together, there's glitter in them. I find these a bit underwhelming. I don't think they're worth the £17. This is in candy. Um, and it's just up here but I do get a lot of compliments when I wear this one but like I say I don't think it's worth the 17 pounds if you're if you want glitter on your lips put glitter on your lips that's all I'm saying then we've got another Barry M one um, and this is ride or die I did review these on my channel I believe there we go it's there Um, then we've got another glitter flip. This is um, in the shade Iconic. It's like a darker one. Which is there. Right, then we have... Um, this is Too Faced. This was the collaboration that they did with Candy Johnson. I don't think you can get this anymore. And this is in Tropical Punch. This is like my perfect colour. I love it and I'm gutted that it, is. it was only limited edition. You cannot get it anymore. And it smells like ice cream. It's lovely. Then we have another um, lime chrome and this is in Cupid. This is like just a nude. There. Um, then this is another one from Colourpop and this is Bedazzled. Purple, you can tell I like the purples and the pinks. Um, then this is Jelly and this is by Caked. Um, they are cruelty free and I wanted a dupe for the um, Maybelline Superstay Matte one um, and also for Kylie Jenner's Junebug this is the um, dupe for but it's cruelty free and it's there. And then I have um, one from Revolution and it doesn't say what colour it is. Oh, Grup. Grandi. Pop it up there. Just there. And then we have um, Werewolf from La Splash, which is like a grey colour. Um, and I bought this because I don't have a colour like it in my collection, so I was excited to get that one. We are nearly there, guys. We are nearly there. I just need to get these back in the little house. this far let me know if which one is your favorite um yeah so last but not least we have my jeffree star collection and here we go so we have dream house which is this cute pink glittery one and i'll just put it there i love this color 
And then we have um, Prom Night, which is again a neon pink, which is there. Then we have Unicorn Blood. Unicorn Blood is probably my favourite colour out of um, all of the lipsticks. I have two of these. I have a backup as well. I'm just going to pop it up here. You can see that. I, it's really funny as well when people say, oh, I love your lipstick. What's it called? And you say Unicorn Blood and they're like, are you Voldemort? Next is Berries on Ice. This is part of his um, Christmas collection. Um, last year, I believe, or the year before. This one is um, a little bit streaky, to be honest with you. I keep looking out the window because my alien palette is supposed to be coming today. Right, and then it's You Better Work, and this is famously his like most rubbish lipstick ever because it's quite drying. I'll just put it up here, but I love the colour purple. Just reminds me of like Cadbury's purple. Then we have um, this one here which is Doll Parts. I love this. This is like nudie pink um it's perfect for every day you can wear it wherever i love that color i love all of them <laughs> then we have cherry wet which was part of his thirsty collection just put it oh my swatches are getting rubbish now and then we have um leo because I am a Leo. Just gonna put that there. It's a little bit dark on me to wear as like a nudie colour, but it is still really, really pretty. The perfect nude for me is Christmas Cookie, which is this one here. And I will just swatch it here. That is the perfect nude colour for me. If you've got really pale skin like I have, Christmas Cookie is the one to go for. He has recently put it on his like forever list. It was um, like limited edition for a while, but now it's here to stay. Then we have Red Rum. I love the shining. This was on my Beauty Bay um, wish list as you know then we have thirst trap which was again part of his um thirsty collection and i'll just put that up here really cute metallic shade some people say it's a little bit too light on me but i i really like it then we have I'm Royalty, which is another purple. I do love my purples, guys. I'll put that just down here. What else do we have? <laughs> then we have Blow Pony, which is again another lilac y purple. I haven't actually worn this yet, so I'm excited. Then we have um, his latest Christmas collection and we have Karma, which is like a khaki, like greeny colour. I'll just put that there. I found this a little bit streaky. Um, people say like put two or three coats on, but um, my personal, I found it a bit streaky, but it is pretty. Then we have um, Can't Relate, which is like a nude um and i'll put that just here another nude i'm slowly getting into like the nude um lipstick thing before i wanted just bright colors all the time but i'm slowly transitioning and then we've got jeffrey who i needed to get this one 
Jeffrey Who. And there we go. So those are all of my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses swatched for you on my arm. My arm is feeling quite heavy now. Oh, dearie me, it took me 20 minutes. <laughs> there we go, guys. That is my lipstick collection. Like I say, I do have a few bullets but they're not really worth talking about because I don't ever wear them anymore um, and most of them are kept for sentimental values. Um, so yeah, what do you think of my colour choices, guys? Do you like what I've shown you? Um, if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I try and upload every other day, so there is usually always something to watch. Um, let me know what um liquid lipsticks you own which are your favorite which would you never buy ever ever again um and as ever guys i will see you soon for another video bye